it, things were getting a little chippy there uh, down low. It looked like there was some good, healthy drawing and all that stuff. And, and I wonder um, how you've seen Zach kind of develop in those situations where it seems like if he gets running hot, maybe it's at your advantage, if anything. Right. Well, first of all, like, you know, if, if they're trying to trade fouls, some, some people do by, by getting into an altercation. We had it happen in the Big Ten tournament, and he just needs to back out, out of, you know, out of it. And that, I think he did a good job tonight of doing that and just, you know, just keep your mouth shut and carry a big stick, right? And uh, that's what I always tell him. I said, like, I don't know why you have to say anything. And, you know, in society, when you run your mouth, your percentage of getting your ass kicked goes up. <laughs> so we've all seen that. The guy that keeps quiet is normally the victor, if it's even. Um, but, you know, he, he just, um, his stamina is, is something for someone his size. And now they have these long timeouts, and so it's like it convinces me not to take him out. Like, you know, like those guys are like, hey, he needs a blow, he needs a blow. And I'm like, no, the, the timeouts are longer. So we don't have to take him out. But it, it's amazing someone of that size can play that long. But, yeah, they're going to um, try to get to him before he gets that position. And, and rightfully so, right? You don't want you know, him to get the basketball at five feet from the basket. So he had to dribble down a little bit more tonight than, it, than he normally does. But just keeping his composure, and he's been able to do that all year um, you know, for the most part. But um, it's hard. You know, it, it's hard with the attention that he gets to kind of understand his surroundings sometimes when they could be coming with the double ball side from the big, covering down. They, they can do a lot of different things. Sometimes they'll wait and uh, wait for him to dribble. Then they come. And uh, he has to have a crouch dribble. If he doesn't, he has such a high dribble then. And now that's time. So like having that crouch dribble and being down in a stance for him, now when they come, picking it up, being a passer, you know, normally they're OK in their doubles. You know, I'm talking about everybody we play. But they're not always good um, in their rotations. And I, I think that's where he gets you. You know, he's so unselfish. But just keeping his composure from all the physicality um, is, is something that's pretty impressive. We'll stay in the second row here, Coach, but on the opposite side. Uh, Ryan Bonaparte, Hammer and Rails. Matt, this was kind of a game where you had to wear Gonzaga down until you can finally go on a run. Is that something you kind of anticipated coming in? And do you anticipate that going forward? Yeah, you just don't know, like, you know, how the game's going to flow. You know, you, you just want to stay on your rules. You want to just the functionality of the game. You, you want to take care of the basketball. You want to rebound the basketball. But you also want to take what they give you. And so that's something really important for, for individual players and teams to understand. Don't have predetermined thoughts. You can have an understanding of what might happen or should happen. Doesn't mean it's always going to. Like they mix up their ball screen coverages. So sometimes they'll hedge, sometimes they'll corral, sometimes they'll switch. Um, they'll be in a drop. So like that was something for us where now you're just not talking about one coverage. You're talking about multiple coverages and you got to be prepared. You know, you got to be prepared for that. So um, no, it just kind of happened. And uh, you can't go on runs if you don't get stops. You know, and so it's the combination of runs, it's the combination of getting defensive stops, and then obviously scoring at the other end. But you, you just try to score. Each team just tries to score in different ways. You got to get in transition, and you got to get on the glass. If you're only scoring in the half court against quality teams, it just gets to be too tough. So just stealing points, and then you know, obviously trying not to let your opponent steal those points. Also, we'll take two more from Coach Painter. We're gonna start here on the left side in the first row. Kyle, Sports Report Media. Matt, talk about the 10 starters you have and what sacrifices those guys have made. I mean, we got three guys up on the stage, but how important they've been all season right. to this team. Yeah, we've, um, we've had different rotations. Um, um, the, the guys that have played more for us in the past that don't play as much now, like their sacrifices have been huge for us. Like that's, that's a hard, you know, pill to swallow. But um, you, you get this late in the season and, and you're, like, you're set in rotations and just kind of the blend, we're putting as much skill as we can out there. And I think that's something that really helps us. I thought Cam Heidi really you know, played well there in that second half. Trey Kaufman didn't have a good first half. Then he starts off the second half and was really good. Then I just stayed with Mason Gillis. I thought we, we had that great stretch you know, there, and he was a part of that. And I, I just stuck with him. And he really gives us you know, a, a lot of spacing. But everybody helps us, even some guys that didn't play very much or play at all, just having a great attitude. And, and sticking with it, sticking with it, and understanding you know the teams uh, above everything else. Thanks. We'll wrap it up with Pat in the third row. 
Hey, Matt. Uh, Braden said it's either hit shots or we're going to give it to Zach. I mean, you have a million sets and a million plays, but is it that simple as far as the offensive philosophy? Right. Well, one of the things for us that we, we kind of found out, like you always take inventory at the end of a year last year, and obviously we had a very, very tough loss. But just playing through Zach after ball screens um, was something that we were really successful at last year, or even more successful this year. So putting the ball in his hands as a decision maker and then playing off of that and getting him set up. Now, we'll run some basic stuff and just throw it in. Um, but it's better to move the defense and put guys in different spots. Because if you can have that balance of him running your team and making decisions and passing and getting to the free throw line, getting Zach's post ups, and also getting quality threes, that's the recipe for success. But we have a lot of trust in Braden. You know, Braden's a very good player, he's got very good instincts. Came to campus that way. He's just gotten stronger, gotten more experienced. And, and you see tonight, like he's two rebounds away from a triple double. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.